Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we're gonna give you guys the top five loadouts you can use right now in rank to actually rank up super fast. Maybe not super fast, but you can use these to increase your chance. I actually use this on my free to play account. So all these guns, except for one, one and a half, you can get right away right now in the credit store, if not for free. Also, I'd like to mention, there's a few guns that I didn't put in the list, AKA snipers and shotguns because those guns, although I love using the shotguns and I know Bobby loves using a the sniper, they are different from the list here. Not everyone can just pick up a sniper and use it. Not everyone can pick up a shotgun and use it. I might do a video about the shotguns later to do a loadout. You guys can use this season to kind of grind it out, but I kind of had to adjust my game style. And also haircut, we got the haircut boys. We got the haircut, also new background. All right, so I just wanted to mention that, but basically let's just start. We're gonna talk about this and uh, let's get the show on a roll. This is my fifth loadout, the fifth one that I've been using. It is the LK. If you have the option to use the Epic, go ahead and use the Epic. However, the blue ones are more than enough for the ARs because the speed boost is pretty solid. But if you have the Epic, it is a range boost, which is absolutely amazing. But if you don't, it's okay. You can go ahead and use the Sakura one, which everyone should be able to use absolutely for free. If not, I believe there's one that came especially right after the update that you can use. But let's go ahead and talk about this loadout. We do have the LK with the red dot. We are using the red dot because the iron sight on the LK are absolutely poo-poo. Yes, poo-poo dookie. Not even worth using it. I do like using the quick draw and foregrip in most of my ARs. The only thing that will change is the third one, which I am using the extended mag on this one. I do kind of like spraying with this gun a little more. It has some decent control as well as a solid time to kill. Not the best time to kill, but solid time to kill. I like using this mostly on like uh, domination kind of maps as well as TDM kind of maps. And then we talk about our uh, an Annihilator. It's basically the best, if not the only class that you can use right now. Annihilator is so good. It was a battle pass reward. If you don't have it, a alternative would be the Tempest, but I can also see you guys using the Hive. That's what I would recommend. I don't like the Death Machine, it got nerfed. So did the War Machine. Transform Shield, we'll talk about that afterwards. And then for our nades, we do have a regular nade here. You'll see in most of my class, I have either a nade or a, a uh, what's it called, Semtex. Doesn't really matter what you use. For me, it's basically what I've been using, but you can use the Trip Mine. It's really up to you. I'm personally not a huge fan of trip mines because I forget to place them down. I know Noah loves using the trip mines, but I personally forget to place them down. Now, trophy system is a must if you're playing ARs, in my opinion. I do like running it, especially when you're playing more of a layback kind of style. This style is for you to like shoot from behind, not really rush in. So we have that. And I do like using lightweight a lot. That's my main thing here. But if you want, you can use the flat jacket, especially since you're not. So there's going to be a few uh, trip mines coming into play. But... Toughness, I love that a lot, so you can win gunfights from far, your flinch will be reduced, so you won't have to uh, miss any shots. And obviously, Dead Silence is going to be in every single one of my loadouts, there is no downside. But, that will be for our fifth one. This is probably one of the nicest one you can use, it's not the best one out there, but it's a pretty solid one. It's the one, if you have an LK that's, you know, the heat stroke, which you should have gotten last season, I don't remember if it was a battle pass or if it was from a crate, but everybody should have this, and it's a pretty solid gun, I would highly recommend this one. Now, number four. It's a little asterisk. So this should be a little bit higher in the rank. However, you have to be pro two or three. I'm not exactly sure to have this. If you have the pro two or three, then you can use it and it will be higher rank. But a lot of times people will not be that high rank yet. So that's why I put a number four. It could be three, might even be two in the situation. But let me explain to you guys. So I had the Dragon Dance one. I had the opportunity as well as the luck to pull this gun. So if you have that one, use that one. The range boost is amazing. But... The regular one, if we're gonna go check out the real, real quick, I don't even have to, I'll just show you guys the footage in the background, but if you do have the regular one, the, where is it? Right here, the Scum Blood, more than enough, really, really solid. So what I've been using for the HBR, it's the Quick Draw and the Stock. You don't need to have the Stock, but I am so used to having Stocks on all my weapons that I've just become adjusted to it. A Recoil does not require it to have it, but because having foregrip makes it consistent for myself when I'm shooting. Again, you guys control me, I don't really care, but it's just about consistency, it's not about the Recoil, it's just that I'm familiar muscle memory. But if you don't want to use the foregrip, I recommend putting a, a Stock so that you can strafe a little bit. And I do like the silencer because it has a really nice sound. Literally just the only reason. Very nice sound. It basically doesn't make a sound at all. Now when it comes to 
like I said, Operator, Annihilator is a must since you're playing kind of like a ninja class. You'll see I have Ghost, that's why you kind of want to shoot from far, you want to kill from far. Very efficient in this map for domination maps as well as TDM, just like the other AR. But you can use this in like SND, you can also use this in uh, Hardpoint. As you'll see, I do have the Lightweight, I do run the Ghost class because UAVs. Ever since they nerfed the RC, people are basically not running Cold Blood. So everybody has their UAV up, so Ghost is probably one of the best ones to have right now. And then obviously that's Silent. I do like using a trophy system because I am going to be camping out a little bit more than rushing. And something to note about the Annihilator, if you guys actually want to put the shield, since you're kind of fighting from a long range and you can kind of use this for domination, you can put the shield on this one, but the next class is the one I want to talk about that can use the shield. So in number three, we're going to have the KN class right here. So obviously all of my classes do have SMRS, I forgot to mention that. I forgot to talk about the, the secondaries and all of them, but SMRS so you can shoot down the UAVs as soon as you see them. I feel like a lot of people do not, don't do that enough. Shoot down the UAV as soon as you hear it. UAV up, look up, bring out your SMRS, shoot it down. Don't give your opponent the time to actually find you or your teammate. But as you guys will see, this class is more of a kind of fighting all the time. It's not as fast as an SMG class, but it is a pretty solid class when you're trying to like not be too aggressive, but not be too passive. I do use DKN with the base iron sights because the base iron sights are fantastic in this game. You know, there's no point using the red dot, no point using tactical scope, anything like that. There is the quick draw, the foregrip, and the stock. I like strafing a lot, and with this gun, it's one of the better ones with the great rate of fire. You can strafe really, really well and get a lot of kills with that. I am using lightweight. I am using toughness so that when I'm strafing, I don't actually flinch too much. And then we're also using dead silence. Now, talking about the transform shield, Annihilator is usually what I recommend for everybody. It's such a great one, but if you don't have the Annihilator, like I said, you can either use the Tempest, but Transform Shield for this class is really nice because you're going to be taking gunfights pretty close and you also want to be taking some of the hard points as well as some of the domination points. You will be able to use the shields to block off people from coming into the point or blocking off people from the, the capture points. That's why I'm using this one as an alternative, but if you can't, Annihilator is just so good right now. There's no reason to not use it. And then number two, I'm sure you guys can guess one and two, but there is gonna be something different from this class. It is gonna be mostly for an SND kind of class, but also a super rush class. This class is meant for you rushing all the time. You're never holding back, you're pushing no matter what. You're using the RUS and you're gonna be attacking non-stop. You have, I actually don't have a space station on this one. I actually meant to put a pistol. I don't know why we have a regular one, but it is a, sh a rushing class. You're basically only rushing with this. As you will see, I do have the RUS with the quick draw, foregrip, and the long barrel, so it increases your range. The main thing we have is a pistol, so that if you ever run out of bullets and someone's still next to you, you can shoot them with the pistol. The huge thing is gravity spikes. Yes, gravity spikes did get nerfed, but I don't feel like people have adjusted enough to the gravity spikes of yet. You do still get that, that super armor, super armor after you gravity spike slash during the gravity spike. Even though you jump super high, people always kind of like re react and jump instantly. So you still can get people from that and it's really good since you're playing the rushing kind of bait. Even though you die a lot, you'll be able to get your gravity spike super quick and be able to get them off the points. And this is again meant to be for like uh, SND, but you can also play this on hard point as well. Really, really good as well as domination depending on you. And as you guys will see, lightweight is a must for SMG players and dead science. And the thing that changed here is the hardwire. So in SND, you're gonna see a lot of trip mines and being the rushing type, you don't wanna have to worry about trip mines and stopping every once in a while to see where they are. So hardware is gonna prevent you from doing that. Yes, you lose out on a bunch of things, but in my opinion, I think it's worthwhile to run this class if you're running around because I don't wanna worry about trip mines. I can literally just run past them and your opponent doesn't expect you. You're playing a flank position, you're coming in, you're hitting. Like if you die to trip mine, just ruins your vibe like crazy. So this is a class that I've been using for RUS and I think it's one of the best. And obviously this would have been probably third if the HBR was free and available to everybody right off the bat, but still pretty solid. And in number one, you guys probably guessed it, it's gonna be a Cordite class. I am gonna make a video about the Cordite and why you shouldn't be using it now, but that's 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 for another time. You guys will understand when I explain it, but the Cordite is the best gun in the game. Yes, the best gun in the game. And in the beginning of the video, I said there's an asterisk to a gun that you can't get. It is the Cordite, you can get it for free if you played last season. If you just started this season, you won't have it. That's why I'm saying, unfortunately, you won't be able to have it. But if you start last season, most of you guys will have the free to play one. However, I believe 95% chance you're gonna bring out a Cordite gun probably within the next 
this season, if not next season, a rare one. I really hope they bring out a rare one, but I have a feeling they're going to bring a rare one so that you guys will be able to buy it very soon. Now, let me talk about this class right here. We are using the Cordite with the Quick Draw, the Foregrip, and the Long Barrel. Very similar to the other one. The main reason for that is that the Foregrip will help the recoil shrink a lot. It has a pretty solid vertical recoil. You'll be able to control it. Quick Draw, it has really slow um, scoping time, so that helps. And as well, you can actually put the Long Barrel and we do use the SMRS because, like I mentioned, shoot down the UAVs whenever you see them. Counter UV, eh, you don't have to, but I still recommend it. And then, as you see, we do have lightweight. SMG class is a must. Dead silent. And finally, we do use the toughness because this gun has such a high vertical recoil. Controlling the toughness on that makes it essential. And because it's an SMG, you can strafe fairly easily. I do use the Annihilator because I'm not playing as aggressive as with the RUS. I'm still trying to get picks. It has really good medium as well as long range, believe it or not, long range shots. So you can go ahead and get a few kills, move around, get more kills, and then bang, Annihilator, 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 Annihilator. This right here is the best loadout you can use this season to get to Legendary, at least Master, but Legendary most likely. So um, I do want to mention one more gun that you guys should be able to get as soon as possible, and it's going to be the MP5. I don't have a class for it, but if you do plan on using the MP5, it's a monster. It's a little harder to use. It has substantially more vertical recoil than the Cordite, but it shoots real fast. If you guys do want to use it, and if you guys do actually get the purple one, that would be probably the recommended one because the iron sights are phenomenal on that gun. But if you do want to use it, just want to add it here. I like using the quick draw. I like using the long barrel. And believe it or not, I actually use a extended mag. I don't use a grip. I usually use a foregrip, but I like being able to adjust to this Regularly from Hawkeye's video, you will see that the first 10 shot basically has the same recoil if you have grip or no grip. So I, I'm like, I like using it. But if you do use the grip, I would probably recommend taking out the quick draw. Personally speaking, having this extended mag is so good, but you can also take it off as well. But the, basically, if you uh, take off the, um, if you put the four grip after the first 10 shot, basically has no recoil. So it's really up to you. I might consider using a four grip. I haven't tested it enough, so that's why I didn't put it onto this list. And also, it's a really high skill gap kind of gun. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you use any of these loadouts. And if you don't, let me know which loadout you use instead in the comments down below. If you guys want to see my latest video, it's going to be at the end of the video. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I've been making videos on a daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.